here. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone, this is Yvonne on March Channel. Today we are making a pizza, homemade pizza. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm sauteing uh, red, green, and yellow bell peppers with onions. Why are we sauteing them, you ask? Because Mark prefers them sauteed, and actually I do too as well. You don't have to add peppers and onions, but this is the way we love it. That's so, quite, a, uh, quite a bit of onion jar. Yeah, we're not going to use all of this. Um, we're going to use about half. Other half we'll use for uh, breakfast tomorrow on eggs or on a salad or something. Um, I just figured might as well kill two birds with one stone. Okay. Let me uh, pan behind you, see what you were doing here. Okay, this is the basil, a fresh out of our garden. Nice. Um, I ha picked this yesterday, so some of them are a little um, brown or black. So I'm separating these? them. Yeah. Can I eat one of these bad You ones? sure can. They're delicious, just straight. So a lot of them are slightly discolored. They were just in water in the refrigerator. From yesterday? From yesterday, right. I clipped them from our plants. Uh, they needed to be clipped anyways. They're getting tall. And um, this, I like to put this on the pizza when it's baking, but I also like to reserve some for after it's uh, baked. Mm -hmm. And uh, put it right on top. Let me put this down as I can hear it. This smells heavenly. It really, really does. I've got the oven on at 400. I think this is good. Because we're going to put it on top. Now, let me see. Well, put this basil in. Where'd you get them new cabinets? Oof, they are nice. <laughs> the cabinets? Yeah. Uh, that's your department. Yep. I'm about to bring a match to them. <laughs> All right, here we come. All right, what I've done is um, I'm just doing Pillsbury um, pizza. What? Joe. But I am going to learn how to I make know. authentic pizza dough from his brother, hopefully. Hey, Anthony, if you're watching, I need that recipe. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm using. What I did was I first oiled the pan. Then I put the pizza dough, okay, spread it out. Okay, oh, I forget. Can you grab me the oregano? We're, uh, okay. Let me hit pause then. Mm -hmm. Did oil on top of the dough, too, a little bit? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right glistening here. nicely. Just oh, a little, little more. Bit. All right. After taking every spice in the world out of the cabinet, here's the stuff I need. Does that work <laughs> that way for everybody? <laughs> He's not a patient man. Oh, no, man, I would have broke all this shit. for barbecue and it should be in this one but are you well, mother we'll put them away later okay okay honey i don't think you want to see you struggling with the spices oh you might want to see me breaking <laughs> this shit over my head but. okay what i did was i always squish that a little bit more okay um i put a little bit of oil on top uh extra virgin olive oil okay. now i'm just going to get some oregano and just sprinkle this on top. Oop, that little bit too much there. That's okay. Oh, they don't ever hurt anybody. Okay, that's that. Okay, next is the mozzarella. Thank you. And I just got the Kroger brand, basically the store brand. Um, it works fine. And my Italian boyfriend tells me that it's better to do the cheese first because everything you put put on top after that melts into it. And that sounds good to me. <laughs> I don't know why you think I'm Italian. <laughs> the Italian stallion. From Jersey. You say that again, bro. <laughs> yes, you... la yes, ladies. I've got uh, Italian Jersey man here. Mm -hmm. Also, I want to do a shout out to Nancy. Nancy, I would love your uh, recipe for pizza dough also. Between you and Anthony, I know we'll get a winner. Same family. What about the chicken dinner? <laughs> I'll take any recipes you guys have. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. dinner. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a little bit more. That's not enough. We're a cheesy kind of family. Well, yeah, and you could throw oh, a little. Shit. What? The sauce. What? The sauce. Well, you could put uh, your sauce on. 
before you, you know, put more yeah, cheese. See, this is a real working kitchen, okay? Things happen. Yeah. I forgot to put the and sauce. And I'm not cutting this crap out, so <laughs> put the sauce on top. Yeah, we'll just put the sauce on top. We just roll with things. Yeah. Ah. Okay, you got All right. I'm you got a spoon to smear it around? No. Okay. Use my hands. Oh. oh this is Lord. on TV. We have to fake it. A little <laughs> my bit. hands are clean. So you go like this. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, I'm using, I don't know how you say it, Reggiano Regano roasted garlic. This is a new, the first, well. See, this proves I'm not Italian. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to make this too, people. But for now, this is great. It's quick and easy. We're it just is. trying to get something done. But you know, they have different flavors. And we tried this last time. We loved it. Yeah. The last pie, as long as you put the right oregano amount, uh, the basil, and everything else, it's perfect. Okay, smoothing this on. You don't even realize Mama Leone didn't make this sauce. <laughs> this is a real good one. Or we, Ma Mama T. We really enjoy this. Okay. All right. That's it. Just going to put that there. All right, now. Um, oh. Okay, people, we're back. What I'm going to do um, is put the onions and bell pepper Oh, Lord, this bad boy. Mm-mm-mm. Does that look good? And you know what they say, that different colored vegetables have different uh, vitamins and antioxidants? Yep. Are you ready? So, Keep going. I'm almost there. Okay. Do a few more. All right. There's that. And now... We are going to put some pepperoni. If I can just open this. Here we go. I think I got it now. Thank you, Mark. Okay. All right. I'm just going to get some. So this might not be really authentic pizza, but you know what? It is delicious. So if nothing else, try it for that. Once I get everything down pat and I learn everything from scratch, I'll do another video. I'll keep trying to... All right, we'll on. just pause it. Okay, we're back. Um, I put a little bit of pepperoni on. Now I'm going to get some minced fresh garlic. Put that on. I love a lot. I love a lot of garlic. Mark a little bit, but not so much. Just a chitch on his side. Not too much. But on mine, I'm going to put that, pour that puppy on. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, there's yeah. that. And can I say something? Yeah. Not about our pie, but for people who don't like garlic, you put it on in pretty big chunks, so then they can find it and just take it out, but they get the flavor. Oh. If you don't want to chew on it. That's excellent. Yes, you can do that. I'm just going to put a little bit more cheese Jeez. on top. Um, there we go. Just so it melts into it. We already put a lot underneath it. Um, Mark, could you hand me the Parmesan cheese? Yeah. Uh, you can use the other kind, the powder kind for spaghetti. This is kind of mixed, a powder and like Shred. shredded. Um, this, people, do not forget this. This really makes it. I don't know what it is about the Parmesan and the mozzarella together. Delish. Okay. Get that. Does that look good, Mark? A little more in the middle. A little more in the middle? Right there. Right, right there. Okay. okay. All right. Nice. Put that there. Now we're going to do some fresh... Bell pepper. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Do that. Sure, I could cut it with a knife, but you know what? I like this better. The oils from your hand will make it taste. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> oils and they're a little bit bigger chunks, so you really get um, bite sized pieces and put it all around. Mm. Oh, hey, I, I also want to do a shout out to my two of my oldest granddaughters. Bianca and Angie. Hey guys, Nani loves you. Hey guys. Okay. All right. Almost there. Oh, I know. We're going to make it pretty. Okay, going to do right in the middle. Face up. And if you don't have fresh garden growing in your backyard, go to the store. In the produce department, they, uh, have plants of uh, basil, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. I didn't really try fresh basil until I met Mark, and I'm hooked now. I, w I was always a cilantro girl in everything. 
Um, now I love my basil. Okay, what are we missing, Mark? Oh, a little bit of chili. Basically yes. done, but try some hot seeds. Yeah, uh, Mark's totally getting into hot stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you more than my my family try, but I never really. Okay, there's a little bit, just a little sprinkle. If yeah. you like more, put more. If you like less, less or omit it. This is just something that we do. Um. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. That's everything, right? For a pizza, that looks like everything. Yeah. You we you have oil on the crust. Yes. And the went, oil went all the way to the crust when I poured it underneath it and brown. on top. It should brown right. and bubble nicely if yes. you leave it in, correct? Yes. Now this is our dark pan, so always put it on the top rung because dark pans tend to get hotter faster and it could burn. Learn not the hot way, hard way. So <laughs> and it's, the hot way. <laughs> this it's at four hundred right now, four hundred degrees. We're gonna put this in here. And normally it takes 10 minutes, but something else I learned with my oven, we are only going to be put it for seven minutes. Then when it's done, we let it finish cooking with it off for three minutes. And it usually comes out perfect, but that's something you might want to play with um, with your oven, because all ovens are different. Okay, this is Yvonne signing out. We're just going to put you on pause because I want you to see the finished product. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back, people. The seven minutes are up. I turned it off, but I uh, just turned the, bit of the timer for three more minutes. I'm going to take a look at it. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? You might think it's ready, but let's take a look underneath. That looks nice, but we'd like Goodness. it just cooked a little bit more, which is why I have it for three more minutes with the oven off. Okay. That seems to be the trick, because before, at 10 minutes solid with cooking, it was too overdone, just like that. So that's where we're at now. I'm gonna make a salad to go with this. Look at this beautiful salad. This is from our garden. Oh, I just, this Got is- quite a, a bit today. Yeah, this is the smoothest, but crispy lettuce. It's got a great flavor. Thank you, Mark, for picking this out of our garden, washing it, and um, getting it ready. I'm just gonna put a little, drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and some garlic salt, and this will be ready to go. Okay. Now stay tuned for the finished product. <laughs> Let me look at your onions here. Oh, should we ready? Yeah. oh yeah, it's ready, you think? Just about, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so right. uh, we need something on the table. Well, Unless you're going to put it right on the stove. No, we can put it right here on the table. Okay. Just... I just hope this video is not upside down now, the second <laughs> part of it. Hey, if it's upside down, just flip it on your end. Just stand on your head. Okay. Put the phone down and it fell, and I don't know how I picked it up. 30 more seconds. Okay, I will take this time to drizzle. We need the garlic salt. Yeah, we gotta get that out. Maybe I shouldn't go in that cabinet. <laughs> you know what I didn't do? What? I didn't cut up the lettuce, but that's okay. Oh, sh we'll go in there with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're uh, camera shy. I guess so. I'm discombobulated. And I didn't know. And it's all his fault. Thank you. It's when he kisses people. I don't, huh? <laughs> it's your kisses. Oh. Oh, there we go. Where's the tongs? I where's, have some tongs right there. Where's Jimmy Tong and the Blue Notes? <laughs> okay, got to turn that off. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Looks good. It looks a lot better, yeah. Yeah, All right. could, if you want to let it sit in there another minute or so, or you just think take, so? yeah, okay, just to this tighten is... up the top. Okay. We... <laughs> the hell? It's a crazy day. Have you ever had days like that? <laughs> All right, that's okay. This is real, people. This is real. Okay. Okay. Get a little bit of a more. This is just a taste. Definitely gonna need some more olive oil, I can tell. Yeah, I gotta cut it. Yeah. I can't believe we forgot. <laughs> I know. So, yeah. what? Ha, Don't put you ever, your hands in here. Have you ever had days like that? We do, and we are having it right now. Well, I had it all day. But does that let it bother us? No, we just go with the flow. Anybody oh, who yeah. knows me that knows I don't go with the flow. <laughs> I'm working on him. I am working on him. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I hope so it's sorry. small I enough. I think it is. It's looking good. 
Now I'll over to it'll be like mince meat or something. <laughs> I think it's fine. Just toss it a little bit more. Yep. To get that oil spread and garlic distributed. Okay, let me take a little taste. Mm. Hmm. One more. Good. Yeah, we can mess with it. Yeah, I think it's good. Mm. Come on, see in there. Okay, let's take a look at the pizza. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Oh, yeah, it looks yep, it's a done. lot more done. Yep, oh, it's yeah, done. perfect. So it's getting a little too crispy on the outside. Now, remember, it's been off for three minutes, not counting a few more minutes after that. Just play with it like we did. Take a look at it, see if it's done to your... Liking. Liking. There we go. Put that there. We really need to let it cool for a little bit because it doesn't um, cut well. Yep. It's too mushy. Looks good though. Yeah. Looks as good as the other one. Okay. Now what I like to do is, again, I like to put more basil on top. Even though basil was baked into it. But I am a basil fiend. I even like to put basil in my salad. Mark doesn't isn't crazy about it, but I am. I like the flavor. Okay, do you want to put it on pause and we'll check in a few minutes? Okay. Okay. Hey people, we're back. Uh, the pizza's done, and we've sliced it, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now I just want to let you know that in the middle, it's a little uh, like liquidy. And that's because I think we put too much uh, a bell pepper, bell pepper, bell pepper and onion. The bell pepper has a lot of water content, so that's why it's a little loose in the middle. Um, it's not a bad thing, but it's just kind of hard to uh, pull it out. Get that one. I'll help you. Yeah, let's get this one. I'll here. do it from here. You okay. do the weak yeah, side. Yeah, see, right in the middle, it's kind of like All right. not liquidy but loose. Okay. Um, one thing I want to tell you is, in one of our other videos, I talked about the ice uh, beverage drink. I showed how you how to make it, um, and, but I put it in a beautiful um, uh, arrangement in a, in a glass with strawberries and all kinds of fun stuff. And ice. And, and of course, an ice drink, right? Along ice with, cubes. Yeah, I, and ice cubes along with um, the seltzer. Well, I just wanted to show you, this is a seltzer. That's, that's what's, what's inside here, but it's Wesley's. Original seltzer water. This is Mark's version. This is Mark's version where we're hungry. Uh, we don't have any patient. We don't want to wait. So this is what he does. Mark, you want to go ahead and give the breakdown on how you made this? Oh, it's just I get one empty bottle of the Wesley. And then I pour half of a full one. I even them out. So they're both half full. Mm -hmm. Then I get three flavors. And I start adding about like... You make your own, like four seconds worth of pouring of each flavor into the bottle. There's lemon. We had this, maybe that's cherry. It's and then, blackberry, raspberry, and that's the lemon. Uh, we, had and we had the orange. orange. And the orange, too, yeah. And then we had some other kind of pink one, but I don't know what that one was. And I tried to get a little bit of each flavor on top of the half a bottle of seltzer water. And I, when I'm done, I cap them because I like them. With seltzer, a little fizzy, yeah. yeah. And this 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 seltzer water has a certain bubble to it. It's not like those cheap <laughs> ones at the food store. And the soda cans are horrible. Uh, this is really good and smooth. So anyway, so there we go. Now this is pizza. We're gonna give it a try. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. Mmm. 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 Good. That's a nice uh, pot. The best pizza ever. I'm going to show them the pot I painted. Or actually, decoupage. Very nice. Mm. I do do crafting. I do painting, decoupaging, all kinds of stuff. But that's for another video. <laughs> anyway, all right. people, give this a try. We love it. Please like and subscribe. If you want to leave a comment, please make a constructive criticism. Or just if you like it. So thank you for taking the time to look at our video.
course, checking out with Yvonne.